All right, big game this afternoon for both the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers. They will be playing in game seven. It is do or die for both teams. Boston Celtics might have the advantage, but if James Harden can get a 40 point game in, and if Joel Embiid can actually play and get to the ball, we can move on and we can break the cuss. Three out of the last five years, we failed to make it out of the second round in a heartbreaking Game 7 loss. We have not made it past the second round since 2001. But this time, I think we can do it. Doc Rivers might get fired if he cannot catapult the team past the second round. So he better coach his ass off. We better see... The 76ers go in there confidently and dominate over the Celtics. The game will be, will be played in Boston. This will not be an easy game for the 76ers, but they can do it. This game is going to have implications. Now, we always knew that the winner of the series had home field advantage, home court advantage over the Knicks Heat winner. The winner of this game will take on the Miami Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. Either we see the 76ers finally in the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since 2001, or we instead see a rematch of last year. Who wants to see a rematch of last year? Who wants to see the Celtics versus the Heat again? Come on, we can do this. All we have to do is just win this game. If we win the game, we will be taking on the Miami Heat. And honestly, the games will be getting a lot less stressful by that point. So come on, Six Nation. We can win one last game. One last game to take us into the Eastern Conference Finals. This was the quickest we got to 50 wins since 2001. First time we got MVP since 2001. A lot of first times in 2001, so let's add another by getting ourselves into the third round. You ready, 76ers? Because we better dominate over the Boston Celtics. I'll be watching part of the game, but more likely than not, I'm going to take a break at some point once the stress gets too high. So, yeah.